How's it going YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be very quickly teaching you guys how to do a fakie. I've gotten an absolute load of requests to do a how to fakie after I uploaded a how to 180. And I uploaded a how to fakie a long time ago, a long time ago. And that was horribly edited, horribly filmed. It was filmed on some little point and shoot camera. And I always hated redirecting people to that when they asked. So here is the new updated version of that video. And hold on, there is a smudge on my lens that has been bothering me ever since I started this video. Oh dude, that's a stubborn one, isn't it? So it is at least 90 degrees and I am baking like a potato just sitting in one spot. And there is so much traffic around me. So instead of being boring like every other YouTuber and just sitting in one place, I am going to bring you guys to a thousand street spots around here. And at every street spot, I'm going to be giving you guys one tip and how to learn this trick at every single spot. And I'm also going to be doing some sort of a fakie line. So one really good tip and one way to learn this trick is to go up to a wall and pretty much press your front tire against the wall just like this and then go back down. Now what that will do is your momentum will go backwards and then you'll start rolling backwards. And for those of you guys who do not know what a fakie is, you guys should know if you guys clicked on this video, but for those of you guys who do not know, it is when you roll backwards on your bike from a 180, 540, foot jams, stuff like that. So if you guys don't have a wall near you to pretty much press your front tire and you guys can learn them a different way is where you put your foot inside your tire and it's called a foot jam and you jam your foot in and then what that will do is it pretty much acts as a wall and it'll bring you back but the problem is that you have to find your pedal on the way down and when you do that that will pretty much give you the concept of rolling backwards but you can't really go that fast. It's kind of more difficult learning that way because you're going so slow and as you guys know the slower you go on your BMX bike the more harder it is to pretty much balance. So the faster you go during a fakie the easier it is. So that being said I'm gonna get a quick clip here and then we will move on to the next spot so I can share some more info. So I just ventured off into the next spot. Now unfortunately this spot doesn't really have any place for me to set down my camera so I can teach you guys the next tip but there is a beautiful stream. Let me just fix this. So as you guys can see right here, I'm going to be getting my clips on that bank in a second. The next tip to do a fakie, always have your weight balanced. If you guys start spinning one way, or say if you're leaning one way, make sure you guys turn the handlebars the opposite direction to make sure you guys keep that center balance. If you guys have a cassette, it is easier, way easier to maintain a fakie and to get out of a fakie on a cassette. But if you have a free coaster, it is not difficult, but it's weird to get used to. The cassette is way easier because you are backpedaling and your feet are doing something that kind of helps with balance. On a free coaster, you just kind of sit there and it's way harder to keep your balance. So definitely cassette is way easier to fake you on a coaster. Let's just knock that out of the ballpark before any comments lead to saying anything about cassette or free coaster because that is definitely out of the question. So now we are going to stack two clips on this bank because I had two tips here. Alright guys, so we just rolled up to the next spot and I usually get kicked out of here really fast sometimes. So we're going to explain this tip and step very fast. During the fakie, you guys want to get out the right way. So no Indian giving, which that means is that if you guys spin left, then you guys want to get out left. If you guys spin right, then you guys want to get out right. What you guys' main goal of doing a fakie is, is just the get out. The get out is the most difficult part to get for a fakie. Your get outs will first look like you're struggling so much with it. It's one of those tricks where you won't just have it and you'll do it every single time. It's one of those tricks that will take at least a few months just to comprehend it. And then it'll take another few weeks just for you to continuously learn them. So I struggled with this trick for so long because for some reason I just couldn't do it. First I Indian gave, which was a no-no. And then after that, I kind of got out of the habit of Indian giving by doing a 180 and then quickly, very quickly, not even backpedaling, I just did a half cab. I kind of learned not to Indian give from just half cabbing immediately, which kind of gave me the concept of just half cabbing. And then I threw one crank in, two cranks in, three cranks in of backpedaling. I got over it really fast. So that being the next tip, I'm going to do a very quick trick. I'm not gonna really do a trick where it will take a few tries because I will get kicked out. And I'm kind of hidden right now. I'll show you guys in a second. I pretty much have one shot of this trick and I can do this trick 
in particular first try. I'm just gonna do a simple 180 off this ledge so I can just get the heck out of here before I get kicked out. So they usually come out of that door and kick me out as soon as I step foot right here. Set the camera up right here. So it's getting extremely laid out and it is so time consuming of going to one spot and explaining one step to you guys. So I'm just gonna head to different spots I'm going to be explaining as much as I can to you guys so you guys can learn how to fakie by the end of this video. Alright, so one thing you guys need to learn about fakies is that it's a trick that takes forever. This trick is so time consuming, it takes forever to learn and it's just so weird to comprehend going backwards on a bike. So for all you beginners out there, it's going to take a while. Don't give up biking just because you can't do a fakie. It will come, trust me. I thought I would never learn that trick, but I did. So that being said, let's head to a different spot. All right guys, so we are ending this video pretty much where I started. The very last and final steps to this trick is to keep trying. This trick is not a trick you will learn overnight. This trick is not a trick that you will just get like that. Practice, practice, practice. And I can't stress that enough, and you guys probably heard me say that 4,000 times. Practice. This trick will not come in a box wrapped like some gift. It will take forever. So that being said, my very last tip to you guys is to concentrate more on the half cab, more on the get out than the fakie itself. Because the get out is going to be the issue that you guys will potentially struggle with. So that being said, make sure you guys try getting out and doing stuff like this. Now once you do that about a thousand times, you guys can finally learn things like sliders and half cabs. Now for those of you guys who are wondering how to do a half cab, it's just basically hopping, but at the same time putting a lot of pedal pressure down and just whipping around and doing like a 180 in a fakey motion. It's strange. Now for those of you guys who don't have pedal pressure and have a coaster, I wish you luck learning fakies. It's gonna be easier, but the get out's gonna be way harder. So to end this video really quickly, to do a half cab, what you guys pretty much have to do is just in the fakie. If you guys have a cassette, put a lot of pedal pressure down and spin your head and turn your, turn your bars about 90 and just hop Put a lot of pedal pressure on and just whip it around as hard as you go because that will give you the correct motion for a half cab. And you guys will land it if you guys listen to that simple step. For coasters, I wish you guys luck because it is way more difficult to do a half cab on a coaster than what you think. Without pedal pressure, it is completely more difficult. So that being said, all you guys have to do is just pretty much spin the 90 degrees just like the cassette but at the same time, you guys need to whip it harder and faster. So it looks something kind of like this. So I know it looks effortless for me and it looks like I'm not even doing any of the tips I showed you guys, but that is mainly because I can do these in my sleep and I could do these anywhere and everywhere. So that being said, I don't really have to put a lot of effort in doing it. That's why my tips that I'm explaining to you guys will make you guys put more effort into learning it than when you guys are at my stage right now where you guys can do it. So if you guys liked any part of this video, make sure you guys drop a like, make sure you guys drop a subscribe, make sure you guys leave some feedback. And if you guys want, you guys can click that notification button on my channel to be notified when I post a video like this or any video in general. Make sure you guys check out all my social medias and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.